All right, today in this short little lesson, we're going to talk about our social studies classroom webpage. And the three things we are going to cover are classroom expectations, homework, and a little bit about classroom management. Let's click on the link here for classroom expectations. Students are expected to come to class with all required materials and assigned work. An important part of being in sixth grade is taking responsibility for yourself and having what you need. Each day in class, students should have the following. You should bring your pens and pencils, a highlighter, notebook paper. You should have a separate compartment in your binder for social studies. Um, you should have your assignment notebook, your journal, your current social studies packet for the unit we're working on, and most of all, you should bring a great attitude for learning. All right, let's cover the expectations for homework. Homework is an important part of the student's responsibilities. The amount of homework will vary in this class depending on what's happening in the class. An assignment is always due the day after it is assigned unless otherwise noted. Let's take a look at what some of the expectations are a little more clearly. Um, homework is to be done completely and legibly. It's to be done according to the assigned criteria, making sure you read all the instructions. If it's a research paper, it must be typed and have the proper headings. The student's name should be clearly on top of all papers. Again, it's important that everything is handed in on time and be done thoughtfully and carefully. All right, let's talk a little bit about classroom management and what should happen in the classroom and in a positive learning environment. Let's scroll down here a little bit and let's start off with the five P's for classroom expectations. One, the student needs to be prepared. He needs to participate. There needs to be a positive attitude. You need to be polite and there has to be procedures. Now that we know what some of the classroom expectations are, let's look at the consequences for breaking the rules. On the first offense, you'll re receive a warning. On the second offense, you write a list of solutions for the problem. On the third offense, you'll receive a detention. On the fourth offense, there'll be an action plan where your parents will receive a phone call. And on the fifth offense, we'll have a parent-teacher conference here at school with me. All right, let's go back up to the home page here. And again, I just wanted to show you guys where you can get it. It's Mr. Miller's social studies class.weebly.com. Thank you for listening.